Thank you. Thank you. What a welcome. I have never had a welcome like that. The first house in what is known today as Los Angeles's El Post Estates neighborhood was built in the 1850s and was later owned by quite a legend in the entertainment world. In 1929, a spacious new house was completed on the site of the original three-room adobe cottage, and six decades later in 1969, property was acquired by none other than 19-time Emmy-winning game show host and dedicated animal rights advocate Bob Barker. Beloved host of the Price is Right lived in the vintage home for more than 50 years before he passed away in August 2023, just a few months shy of his 100th birthday. More recently, Barker's former hole was listed for sale at just under $3 million, and we were able to catch a glimpse inside. Bob Barker, renowned as the beloved host of the iconic game show The Price is Right, led a remarkable life both on and off screen. Born on December 12, 1923 in Darrington, Washington, Barker grew up during the Great Depression, facing financial challenges that would later shape his commitment to animal welfare. After serving as a fighter pilot during World War II, Barker pursued a career in broadcasting, starting as a radio host before transitioning to TV. In 1956, he began hosting the game show Truth or Consequences, which propelled him to fame as a TV personality. However, it was Barker's time as the host of The Price is Right, which began in 1972 that cemented his status as a household name. Over the next 35 years, Barker became synonymous with the show, charming audiences with his warm demeanor, catchphrases, and signature sign-off. Help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Off-screen, Barker was deeply passionate about animal rights and activism. He used his platform to raise awareness about animal welfare issues and was a vocal advocate for spaying and neutering pets to control overpopulation. His dedication to this cause led to the establishment of the DJ and T Foundation, named after his late wife Dorothy Joe and mother Tilly, which supports animal rescue and rehabilitation efforts. In addition to his philanthropic work, Barker enjoyed a fulfilling home life. In 1986, he purchased a historic Spanish revival style home in LA's Outpost Estates neighborhood, where he resided for more than five decades with his wife. Tragically, Barker's wife, Dorothy Jo, passed away in 1981 after battling lung cancer. Despite this loss, Barker eventually found love again, marrying his second wife, Nancy Burnett, whom he was with for 40 years. His home became a cherished sanctuary where he could relax and enjoy time with loved ones amid his busy career. In August 2023, Barker passed away at the age of 99, leaving behind a lasting legacy as a TV icon, animal advocate, and devoted family man. The first residence in what is now recognized as LA's Outpost Estates neighborhood dates way back to the 1850s when Don Tomas Orquides constructed a modest three-room adobe dwelling within the Sycamore Groves near the intersection of Outpost Drive and Hillside Avenue. This historic property later fell under the ownership of General Harrison Gray Otis, the first publisher of the Los Angeles Times, who christened it the Outpost. The land encompassing Otis's outpost was absorbed by developer Charles E. Toberman, who envisioned an opulent residential community, branding it Outpost to Seat. Toberman was nicknamed Mr. Hollywood because he personally oversaw the construction of some of the city's biggest landmarks, like Grauman's Chinese and Egyptian theaters and the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Toberman began construction on El Post Estates back in 1926, but he stopped after the market crash in 1929 as the world entered the Great Depression. Three years later, he was able to raise enough funds to restart construction, and he eventually passed away at the age of 101 years old inside one of the homes located here. To garner attention for his upskill development, Toberman erected a striking 30-foot red neon sign bearing the name Outpost. Over the years, the neighborhood became a sought-after spot for Hollywood stars, with early residents including silver screen icons like Bella Lugosi and Dolores Del Rio. These days, notable figures like Charlize Theron and David Lynch call Outpost to state home. In 1929, a spacious new house was completed on the site of that original three-room adobe cottage, and six decades later, in 1969, the property was purchased by none other than Emmy-winning game show host Bob Barker. 
Bob's Spanish colonial style abode boasted 5,000 square feet of space, as well as four bedrooms, an equal number of bathrooms, and a fully stocked maid's quarters. Barker cherished the vintage charm of this house for over half a century until his passing in August 2023. Recently, photos of the home's interiors were revealed as the property is listed for $2.988 million on the market. While it might need some modern updates, the home retains many desirable original features like stained glass windows, wrought iron details, antique light fixtures, and a wood beam ceiling above the staircase. The main level of Bob's longtime home boasts a 28-foot-long living room with original wood paneling and French doors leading to the backyard as well as a library with a walk-in wet bar. Other highlights include a dining room, breakfast room, kitchen with a butler's pantry, large laundry room, and powder rooms. Upstairs, four bedrooms and three bathrooms offer comfortable accommodations, with the primary suite featuring a walk-in closet and dressing room. However, during his time living here, Bob treated this home as a private sanctuary and rarely offered fans a look inside. The only occasions we've ever seen inside his place is when he's opened his doors to press photo shoots, such as that time he took a few candid snaps next to his pet rabbit in 2011, or when he gave the press a look at all 18 of his Emmys. He's also given fans a peek into what others have referred to in the past as a junk room. There are people who have referred to it as a junk room and things very un uncomplimentary, but I have a little of everything here. I was a naval aviator. But this place held a special place in Bob's heart because it became home to a series of important mementos from his past. This included models of planes he used to fly back during World War II for the Navy. Additional amenities include a nearly 400 square foot garage, gated driveway, and a 600 square foot basement level ideal for a variety of purposes. Property's lush landscaping, tall hedges, and tree-shaded lawn provided privacy, while a swimming pool surrounded by a flagstone terrace was perfect to relax. Recognized as historical and a cultural moment, the home presents a unique opportunity for a special buyer to revive its former glory and transform it into a modern masterpiece while retaining its history. Bob Barker's historic Spanish revival home in LA's Outpost Estates holds a special place in his legacy. For over five decades, it served as a tranquil retreat where Barker found peace and joy amid his successful career in the spotlight. With its original architectural charm and lush surroundings, the residence boasts the essence of Barker's life, a blend of elegance, warmth, and dedication to family and philanthropy. As the property will transition into new ownership, it keeps Barker's enduring influence and the mark he left on both the entertainment industry and the world of animal advocacy. The whole remains a cherished piece of Hollywood history, embodying the spirit of a beloved TV icon and his commitment to making a difference. Well, that wraps up today's house tour. Before we go, answer this question for me. What was your favorite game on The Price is Right and why? Let me know down in the comments which you'd most like to play. Would it be Plinko or maybe it's Cliffhanger? Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.